Hi, Cancer. Happy New Year. I hope that you guys have been doing okay for the first half of the year so far. Um, before I begin with your reading, I just want to let you guys know that I am doing my tarot series on my IG at Armani Ife 777. Please feel free to follow, partake in the series. If you have questions, you can DM me directly on there. Um, the series includes my um, scientific interpretation of how I relate to tarot over the past couple of years so I hope that you enjoy it like I said if you have questions feel free to write me on here um, I'll try to also post to the community panel if you're interested as well too okay all right so this reading will be from January 10th to February 28 2022 all right so let's see what is coming through for you <clears throat> Um, for some of you, I'm getting the idea that your job, um, your job may be turning remote, all right, because, you know, I mean, um, most of the signs are probably going to be dealing with the same issues where the variant is pretty much impacting a lot of people's workplaces at this time. So it may be really important to keep in mind that if you, you know, whether you like working at home or not, that may be something that may be happening to you or may happen to you okay if it has that component not every job has um has a component that will allow you to work at home so that may be something that you need to look into or you want to consider whether it's changing jobs whether it's leaving one job to work at home or finding a job that will allow you to do so okay All right, Cancer, so you have the Four of Pentacles energy underneath. Um, the Spirit is giving me an idea that you probably need to save as much money as you possibly can. It is a money-saving card, all right? I am picking up the energy of an Aries as well, too, so you may rely on an Aries element to help you out financially, but that may also come to a close. It doesn't have to be an Aries. It could be a Leo. It could be... Um, um, a Sagittarian energy as well okay so um, I get the idea that they need their own place so when I hit Sagittarian um, whatever other fire sign or Leo whoever they need their own place <laughs> that is really interesting to pick up so if you're not in the I mean you could be in a more uh, you could be in a romantic relationship with the fire sign and I don't know something may have happened in the previous year that caused you to separate from them and you're like okay we did this cold living if you have any kids we did this cold parenting we're living together we're doing this that and the third I think it's about time you have your own place so if they're not a romantic partner then they're definitely someone that you have some type of financial tie to vice versa that they the spirit is giving me the idea that they pretty much they've what's the word I'm not going to say cut losses, but I'm going to say they, their time with you has run its course, basically. That's why the Four of Pentacles is here. So the time with you being with the Four of Pentacles is underneath is that you either, you're either, you're trying to hold on to the funds that you make. And one element about it for some of you is that you may have been relying on the fire sign energy to provide for you or with you financially since last year vice versa all right so that can be no longer which means that if they leave whether they leave permanently or whether they leave temporarily vice versa then there needs to be a good amount of savings that you should have or they should have so that's really important to keep a note of all right but if they're not leaving you per se 
um, or you're not leaving them is still, you know, with the variant and everything that is going on, working at home, not working at home, needing to find jobs, things of that nature, needing to change jobs, whatever the situation may be, you need to have like a nest egg just in case because they may not be reliable. They may not always be around for you, vice versa. The Nine of Pentacles is in the starting point, all right? So Nine of Pentacles would be paycheck. Like, that kind of looks like a pay, you know, it gives me an idea of like a paycheck. Something that you can do with what you have. It's a nine. So it's like, I'm waiting for this other paycheck so I can move jobs, change jobs, so I can move, period, etc. All right? It keeps giving me this idea of a separation from a fire sign. That's the idea that I'm getting. So the Nine of Pentacles, um, I also get family money. The Nine of Pentacles um, would be family money that someone may have left for you. The fire sign, you could have made with the fire sign and it's still family money that is left for you. It could be $9,000 that somebody's leaving for you. It is the, or they are they just giving you, just depends on the energy that is coming through. It could be 90,000, 900,000, it just depends nine of pentacles all right if it's not that then there is this uh, there was that idea of a separation so it could be a separation from a workplace where the fire signs are or it's a separation from a partner that is a fire uh, that is a fire sign for whatever reason that the separation is occurring could be temporary if it's work is temporary or it's permanent and you're like you know i need that last bit of pay so i can leave or i need that last bit of pay so that i can move it just depends on what is going on if it's not fire sign it is the pentacles do represent earth energies like taurus and virgo and capricorn so something that you may be dealing with personally it impacts them something that you have going on separately like in your own life it affects the earth sign or something that the earth sign is doing it may affect you financially for some reason that's why the nine is there so i'll give you a really interesting example say um i keep being drawn to the aries element the leo the sag something some type of business tie that you have with the fire sign energy it involves the earth sign but the earth sign something with the earth sign I get they move. The earth sign energy moved. So because the earth sign energy moved, it, it impacts. I get government assistance. The earth sign energy moved. So for some reason, them moving impacts your government assistance or the government assistance that the fire sign energy receives. If it's not that, your separation from the fire sign energy or the earth sign it impacts your government assistance so whether the earth sign energy is a partner they're a friend i get a cousin they're a cousin partner friend whatever it is that they are to you them leaving them separating them moving impacts something that you receive financially or it impacts the fire sign or you could be with the earth sign and the fire sign is leaving and you're thinking that the earth sign is going to be impacted financially or you're going to be permanently or temporarily impacted by somebody else's choices permanently or temporarily. That's why the nine is there as well, right? But the spirit is giving me an idea that you should save as much as you can because there's there it, it's giving me the idea that someone is separating from a situation like you didn't see the separation coming. So whether you're tied to an Aries, you're tied to the Sag, it could be Leo, it could be, like I said, the Earth sign, whichever. You're tied to them and you separated from them, vice versa, or that's you and the fire sign. It's an unexpected separation. So it's like prepare your finances always so that the time that someone does separate, you'll be financially set to go, or the fire sign will be, or the earth sign. It just depends on what's going on, okay? What you're waiting on is a ten of pentacles, right? So the nine is here. What you're waiting on is that last hundred. You're waiting on that last hundred to add to the nine to make it a ten. You're waiting for that last paycheck to make it ten. Nine thousand, ten thousand. I'm just giving an example. You're waiting on whatever's left, basically, okay? But I'm getting this idea of you asking a question, what is someone's address? I'm getting that idea. 
you may be trying to figure out what someone's address is. Someone may be trying to figure out yours. So the fire sign could be trying to figure it out about you or are you trying to figure it out about the earth sign? It just depends on what's going on. What is somebody's address? Somebody may want your address to send you some type of payment. That could be a situation because what was underneath um, is the four of pentacles. So somebody needing your address could mean that they may want to send you your last paycheck from a workplace, especially if you're impacted by variance and you need to work at home or you're transitioning in between jobs or the fire sign energy is somebody is transitioning in between jobs, then there's a paycheck or a percentage of a paycheck that you may be waiting for with the Ten of Pentacles in the waiting position, right? Hmm. I'm getting this idea that you might not get something until later, whatever that means to you. And it could be the 10 could be February 10th. The 10 could be January 10th. You know, the 9 could be like any day that has a 9 in it. Um, any The 10 could be any day that has a 10 in it. Right? You may not get something either until the 9th or going into the 10th of February possibly that may be when you get some type of payment right that could also be that for some of you that could also be your pay period so if you're waiting or you're expecting something to come in um, in February regarding the rest of the payment or some type of governmental assistance whatever the payment is you may get that in February right I'm getting this idea of some of being paranoid about that for some reason I don't know if that's the fire sign energy thought, the earth sign, or yours. Someone has a paranoid thought process about getting deposited some type of payment. So I don't know if the fire sign feels that way. You may feel that way. Because either, either you're thinking you're not going to get it because... You may be thinking that you're not going to get it because somebody moved. Or you separated from someone. So say, for example, you're dealing with the Aries and you separate from the Aries or the Sag, whichever fire sign, you separate from them. They, I get alimony. There's alimony there between you and them. Or for some of you, there's alimony there between you and the fire sign. Or it's external and it could be happening with an earth sign. I get in a Sag. It could be happening with an earth sign and a Sag, alimony, or government benefits and things of that nature. Or it's you and the fire sign where you're concerned. There's a little paranoia surrounding the idea if you're going to get some type of deposit that you may have been waiting for through the fire sign. Or that's the earth sign's involvement with the fire sign directly. That's your involvement with the fire sign with the fire sign directly where if you separate you're like am I going to get this benefit am I going to get this deposit so you could be a third party to the fire sign and the earth sign you could be in third party to them and you could be you may have been promised or you may be expecting some type of payment that someone said that you would get for being involved if that's a workplace thing or it's a business deal whatever the situation is that you get it or you're just involved with the fire sign and they told you, you know, they're moving, they're doing this, that, and the third in another state, in another county, they're not going to be anywhere near you. You're like, am I still going to get my pay? They could be on vacation. Am I still going to get my deposit? Whatever it is. So that is between you and a love partner, you and a friend, you and a family member, ten. Ten of pentacles, all right? But something you may not get until later. So if you're dealing with the fire sign, Something that you may not you may not get if they leave it or separate from someone or you. You may not get something until later on or if that's in regards to a job directly or a love and relationship situation directly where someone is temporarily separating or permanently separating from you and you're like, am I going to get this deposit still? Um, you know, if there's children in the middle of the situation, it just depends on what's going on. The four of wands energy is in the present. So four of wands brings in the energy of the fire sign in your home environment. They are in your home. They are in your work environment. All right. Um, the four of wands in the present would mean that um, I'm, I feel like they're not going to they're not going to leave without giving you something if it's a fire sign. 
if it's an Aries, if it's a Sag, whatever, uh, a Leo could be in the mix as well. They're not going to leave until they give you something or until they leave you with something. And it's a financial situation as to what you're waiting for them to leave you before they leave, what they're going to give you before they leave. Or they're not going to leave without giving you something. They're not going to leave without giving you something. All right? Mm-hmm. Or it's you. I don't know. You could be in this space with them. And the Nine of Pentacles resides with you. Ten of Pentacles resides with you. And you may not leave a space. Uh, I get clear something up. You may not leave a space until you clear something up with the fire sign. Or vice versa. Whatever it is. And it's financial clearing up that someone wants insight on. The Seven of Cups is in the future with options. Could be work options, love options. The Queen of Cups is in the instincts. This could be you. This could be a Scorpio, another Cancer, Pisces that is a woman. All right. They're in your instincts. They're showing up. They're like the therapist. That's what they're. That's, some of these cards have occupations. So theirs can literally be a therapist. <laughs> um, or they come off. They have that kind of pers it's cups. They're cups energy. So they have that kind of that um, personality. That's what they're good for. All right. That is what they're good for. Someone that you can confide in and talk to about some type of separation or financial issue with someone that you do have in your home or in your workplace, like a fire sign. Right? Or the fire sign's involvement with an earth sign. You know what I mean? Or your involvement with an earth sign. Or thinking about being involved with the earth sign. I'm getting a Taurus too, so a Taurus may be important. Being involved with a Taurus could be Capricorn, could be Virgo, but Taurus is coming through. The Taurus is coming. So Taurus may be an option. Aries, Sag, maybe Leo, Queen of Cups, Scorpio, whatever water sign that's external. They, I get once an option. They were once an option for you. They're in your instincts. They were once an option for you, whatever that means. They were once an option. Um, they, they could have been once a financial option for you. Or someone that you get money from or insight about something on. They, that could have been, or they were a, lo a love option for you at one point. You know, they could have been older. If you look at them, they're a little, they're gray. So they, they may be an elder or they're just older than you. They're an elder or they're just older. Four of Wands. Right? They do know where something is. So if there's something... To get to that 9, that 10, and the paranoia with some type of deposit or the money, some type of money you're waiting for from the fire sign, they know where, the Queen of Cups knows where it is. Whether it's a Pisces, a, another Cancer, or Scorpio, that's a woman. They know where something is or they know where, um, I had Aries left something. They know where an Aries left something. They know where a Sag left something. They know where a Leo put something, left something. So the fire sign energy, that the past tense sounds like the fire sign energies could have left your space. They left a workplace, they left a home. But the spirit was implying that they weren't going to leave until they did leave you something. But there it sounds like the fire sign energy isn't leaving something to you. Okay, they're not leaving something for you directly, meaning that you're not going to be in the space when they do leave something for you. So with you not being in the space when they leave something for you implies that they're going to leave it with a queen of cups so that's why the queen of cups knows where something was put they know where they know where to access something to give you whenever you need it because for some reason the fire sign energies may have confided with an external queen of cups i get where to put your money or where to put some type of money and you're like, I need it. <laughs> you're like, I need it now. I need it for this, that, and the third. Where is it? Why didn't they give four of wands? Why didn't they give it to me directly? Somebody may not have felt confident enough to give it to you directly. So they left it with an external queen of cups. Or they left a password with a queen of cups. They left an account number with a queen of cups. Whatever it is they left with a queen of cups. They left a stash of money. A percentage of that stash of money they left with the queen of cups is for you. Is for you. So they, so their their promise, their promise before the separation, 
whether temporarily or, temporarily or permanently, their promise before that was, I'm going to leave you 10000 I'm going to, or however much of amount of money. I'm going to leave you this amount, 500 600 could be 900 I'm going to leave you this amount, but I'm not leaving it with you directly. I'm going to leave it with a Queen of Cups. And then when the time is right, the Queen of Cups external, I hey, reveal, the Queen of Cups external is going to reveal to you what was left for you by the fire sign. But I'm getting this idea of why why does it need to be done that way? That's a question that you may have. Why is it done that way? Why why is he or she moving? I keep getting Aries too is ringing in my ear. Why is it Aries moving like that with me in this situation? You may not know. Or Sag, whichever fire sign. Leo, why are the fire signs moving like that with me in this situation? Why are they moving like that with me? You know, you don't know why, all right? Queen of Cups knows why, external. You know what I mean? I get the idea of embarrassment too before I put that card down. Someone, the fire sign may be embarrassed by something, like they may be embarrassed by something that they not, they may not have necessarily felt comfortable in the past or the present expressing to you, so they confided in the Queen of Cups, external. For some reason, I don't know, that's interesting. The accomplishment has the chariot. That's your energy there. Um, it's also travel. You know what I mean? It's a travel card. It's right next to the nine of pentacles. Right? I'm getting this feeling like at one point you may... At one point you may consider... Um, I get tackling fire sign. At one point you may consider tackling a fire sign. Like tackling them. Like tackling them. Like, you know, aggressively approaching them on a matter that's tackling not literally you know but aggressively approaching them about money aggressively i also get a house payment aggressively approaching the fire sign about a house payment you know a house payment a rent payment a house payment that may be something that they're gonna you're gonna experience with them vice versa they're gonna experience that with you Hmm. The Queen of Cups energy also, they either need to calm down or they need to be calmed down by someone or they're going to, like, that could be you as well, embodying, like, feminine energy if you're a man. If it's another, if it's a Queen of Cups that's a woman, they may need to be calmed down for some reason. I don't know why. Or it's you. Or and whether you're a man or a woman, you can show up like a Queen of Cups. Or it's an external queen of cups that needs you. It's either you need to be calmed down or you need to calm down. Or it's an external queen of cups that needs to be calmed down. Like calm down could be either somebody's acting up. <laughs> like queen of cups may be acting up. Whatever that means. Like they need, they may be acting out, acting out or acting up. You may be acting out or acting up about a situation. But it has to do with a separation that you may experience or they they may have been acting interesting from a separation they experience so if they're external they they have they may have been tied to the fire sign if this is external they may have been tied to the fire sign the fire sign could have separated from them and they may be acting interesting because of it or the fire sign is acting interesting because they, I want to separate. The fire sign is acting interesting because the queen of cups external wants to separate from them. Or you want to separate from them. Whatever the hell is going on. So somebody is acting interesting. Either like on you, you could be the one that's doing it. The queen of cups or the fire sign. Somebody's acting really interesting over the, over the idea of somebody separating intentionally separating okay uh the eight of pentacles is in the spiritual self next to the, there's a lot of money here <gasps> excuse me there's a lot of money here there's a lot of money like all these pen all the pentacles showing up there's a lot the money that could be the reason why somebody's acting out <laughs> you know like that's why she's acting out you could be the one doing it or the fire sign you know, the order is the fire sign. Because of the fire because it's 
it's the idea is somebody acting out because of the fire signs exit. <laughs> okay, it's either the fire signs exit that is causing a problem, or it could be your exit. That's why the travels the card is there. It's your exit. It's the fire sign energy's exit. Or it's like, it's you're on the outside looking in, it's an external Queen of Cups energy exit. Somebody's embodying, I was getting Taurus, it could be something going on with the Earth sign as well. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, something about them. Um, or an external Queen of Cups, somebody's, e somebody's entrance or exit into a situation. The fire signs, yours, an external Queen of Cups, or there's a Taurus, or whatever Earth sign. Or the fire sign. Somebody's acting interesting because of somebody's entrance or exit into a situation. I don't know. Whatever it is. But it involves a lot of money. And I had secret communication. It involves a lot of money. It also involves a lot of secret communication. Secret of communication. Between you and a queen of cups. Between you and the earth sign. Between the fire sign and the earth sign. Between you and the fire sign. Or queen of cups and the fire sign. Leaving you something, not leaving you something, leaving abruptly, somebody acting out because somebody's leaving abruptly, travel, can't leave without leaving the money, but why didn't they leave it for me directly, why did they move, why did this, that, and third, whatever it is. There's a lot of different situations going on there. The Prince of Swords is in the, um, is in the mentality with the Queen of Cups. So the Prince of Swords brings in the element of an air sign that's a man, could be a woman too. But um, it's a man. So it's an Aquarian, a Libra, or a Gemini that is in the mentality with the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups may deal with a Prince of Swords. Or th these two elements, hey, communicate. These two elements communicate. Or you communicate with a Prince of Swords about a Queen of Cups external. Or you communicate with a prince of swords about an earth sign. Or or they communicate to you about an earth sign or a fire sign. You communicate to them about the fire sign leaving, staying. Or they tell you something about the earth sign leaving or staying. Queen of Cups leaving or staying. Queen of Cups being left something specific that they're supposed to give you. Prince of Swords. Right? And you could be embodying Prince of Swords as well. If they're not if they're not only external, okay, Prince of Swords. They're in the mentality. So with them being in the mentality, is that something that is happening? Um, they may be given more than you. I'm getting that idea. They may be given more than you. So whatever it is that you're waiting on money wise, they may be given some amount of money. Whether they're a man or a woman. They're given some type of amount of money, but it's more than you. And then for some of you, there's also this other situation of a Queen of Cups and a, a Queen of Cups energy receiving some percentage of something that it was left for you. But I'm getting the feeling like they may also use something that was left for you by the fire sign, something like that. Which is there's a lot going on there. There's a lot going on. The Two of Pentacles is in the changing position, so you don't need to do this anymore because the money is coming in. But I feel like once you get someone to talk, the money will come in. So that could be the Prince of Swords, you need to get talking. Fire Sign, you need to get talking. Queen of Cups, you need to get talking. So it could be another Cancer, it's a Scorpio, it's a Pisces, you need to get them talking. As to where some, where, like money, I get the idea of money being divvied up. Money is being divvied up in a situation really interestingly here as well like money's being divvied up between you a prince of swords a queen a queen of cups the fire sign money's being de uh, uh, divvied, divvied up there right the earth sign is very subtle in the situation but something may involve them heavily as well too but um but something is is divvied up that is that is going on right Something is divvied up, but you're still getting the money, but it's is being split up. So for say for example, you deal with the fire sign as like a love partner, and they 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 could be a, like a love partner, but they they take care of their business partners, they take care of their friends, they take care of their family, and their family, their friends, their business partners could be Prince of Swords and External Queen of Cups. 
So they, they, and they do leave something for you. They do give you something, but they're not giving you something directly. They're giving it or they're letting some other people hold it or something, whatever it is. Um, the nine of fortitude, the nine of wands is going towards the options. So you may be in a situation here where like, if somebody said whatever kind of whatever kind of separation you may be it could be a temporary separation where you're part it could be as simple as you're dating someone and there's some type of money that you made with them but they had to take a tr quick trip somewhere and they took that money with them or they left it with someone whatever kind of separation it could be divorce related it could be temporarily separated related it could be separation in a job and you just need your payments and you're just going about this in an interesting way and like somebody left your payment with a queen of cups in the workplace queen of cups could be somebody's your partner's mother your partner's sister your partner's friend and they left it with them you know for some of you the seven of cups is the options, you know, the seven of cups is the options as to like, uh, I always get before you get paid. So the seven of cups with the nine of wands is something that you need to do every time before you get paid or something, something that happens here is something that you experience every time before you get paid, whatever that means. Or something that you need to do either before or after every time you get paid. So it could it could be it could be you going to the bank. It could be what's the situation? If it's before you get paid, it could be I get questioned them. It's something in regards to questioning someone before you're given an amount of money. You need to question them. You need to question the Aries, the Sag, the Leo before you do something, before you spend money that you had saved for pentacles underneath. Because you don't know what could happen. So if it's a job closing, job temporarily closed, job moving remote, or it's like a, a husband, a spouse, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, they leave temporarily or permanently and they, they, they're leaving like something that they're supposed to give to you with their mother or their sibling or their friend things like that is what's going on and you're like that's why the nine and the ten are placed next to each other like that you know not relying on someone you know maybe you are maybe you're relying on a partner too much to give you things to give you money you may be relying like you know as simple as you dating someone and there's a pain, you know, you may not be making, it. You know, they may be making more money than you, vice versa. And you want to pay for something specific and you need to go ask their, their secretary, I don't know. You need to go ask their mother, you need to go ask their sister permission to borrow some amount of money. But it's, it is yours, but they may not trust you with it. As simple as that. Fire sign may not trust you with it. You know, Princess Suarez knows what's going on or or they're being given it as well. And the Queen of Cups, whatever. All right. Let me look for an outcome here. Cancer. OK, the magician. Why is this upside down? Strange. The magician is here, sign of Aries. That's why I was getting the Aries coming through a lot. And the page of swords. And another six of pentacles. Do I already have that? No, I don't. Do I? No, I don't have it. Okay. So the magician with the page of swords and the six of pentacles would be that the younger air sign, the air signs that, that is in your space, they could be younger than you. I, I keep getting this idea, they could be getting paid more than you do. They may have a higher placement in a business deal and a friendship and a family. Some of them may be more favorited about that person. Page of Swords. The magician is the Aries. The Aries, it could be an Aries that's responsible for giving them something. I also get a Sag. The Aries of Sag Leo is responsible for giving them something over you before you more than you six of pentacles all right whatever it is that's going on 
there's for some you also don't know of their involvement or you don't know you don't know about them something is unknown about them too something is unknown about the prince of swords whatever something's unknown about them all right if it's not only if it's not only the air signs involvement then the magician with the page of swords would be you doing research about a payment you're what's happening here is you what is happening here is yes you are researching what is going on with a payment you're successful the magician is being successful with the idea of finding out what happened with a payment what's going on with one or who has it so if you're in a job and your boss left and, they, and they're leaving part of your pay with their assistant the assistant has it and, you, and something is weird about that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you have a love partner and they're leaving payments, they're leaving some type of money with their mother or their sister, their other lover or whatever it is, and you need to figure out where that is. Whatever, something like that. That's really interesting. Okay, all right. Cancer, um, that's your reading. Let me know how it resonates with you. Be well. Take care. Bye.